Welcome back to Jeeva's Gaming, guys, and today we had a really, really awesome night. So we got a huge bag here from Five Below, which looks like the regular return bags we find. And we also went by Pier 1, and we don't usually check it. And for some reason, there was a bunch of CDs in there, a bunch of them. Now, I've only checked one case, and the CD was in there. I just wanted to see if it was in there. I wanted to save the rest for video. But one of them was definitely in there, so this could be really, really awesome if they're all there. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day. Leave this video a big, fat thumbs up. Make sure you also hit the little notification bell so you can be the first one notified when we upload new videos. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So first, let's go through these stack of CDs. And the ones I don't know, you guys tell me if they're any good if you listen to them. Because I don't listen to many of them. So I don't know if this exactly is a movie or if this is the DVD or CD or what, but The Rebirth of Kirk Franklin. We got Maxwell. Not too sure. Uh, what is this one? Last Train to Paris? Never heard of it. Never heard of this one either. Marsha, whatever that last name is. Not going to try to pronounce it so I don't get made fun of in the comments. Jamie Foxx here. Again, I never listened to this one either. So you guys tell me if these CDs are good. Because I have no idea. We got this one here. Dry Hill. Ambition by Wale here. Nicki Minaj, which, sorry if you guys like her. I just, I can't stand her. Love Hate here. Uh, not sure what that one is. It doesn't have anything on it. Oops. I can't stand this guy either. Robin Thicke. Trey Songs. Thank Drake. Or er, yeah, it's Drake. I don't really like him either. Ludacris now. He used to be one of my favorite artists. I used to love Ludacris. Never heard of this guy either. Trey Songs again, I think. And Lil Wayne, we listen to in the car because I do like some of his music and this one's in there. Now what I'm going to do is after I go through the five below bag, we'll come back for a recap and I'll go through all of them. I don't want to go through all of them on video and I'll tell you which ones were in there and which ones were not. But anyway, let's get into the five below bag. Alright. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff in here. Let's see what we got. So right off the bat... You can see that they are in there. Another pair of the Bluetooth earbuds right here. These are great earbuds too. I've said it before. Five Below stuff is really good quality. It looks like it's just a banged up box, so we'll fix that up later. Another pair of Infinite Wrap. These are also Bluetooth earbuds, and they are also 100% in there. So that is epic right there. Two pair of earphones to start off the bag. That is definitely good. Um, An emoji ball that's tongue sticking out. I never found that before. Oh, it lights up. Cool. Um, trash. Ooh, what is this? Imagine ink. So it's a book. No markers or anything with it, but we'll see you later. Uh, a phone case right here. Ooh, a rotating stand. And of course, that's the one thing that's not in there. That would have been awesome. And yeah, there's nothing in there. That would have been cool for me because I like to display a lot of stuff. Um, that's not in there. This is in here. What is this? We got a 3.5 foot micro USB charger and it's a rope charger too. Rope chargers are always better. They last a lot longer. Here's another charger of some sort. This is also a micro USB. It looks like it's a little bit bent right there as you can see. So it might not work, but I think it should. We got a Spider-Man here. Uh, Spider-Man figural. That's weird. But whatever, it looks like one of the things, it's got a helicopter and it's got a motion sensor on the bottom. So you can kind of like move your hand like this and that thing will literally hover above your hand, which is pretty awesome. Uh, oops, I always find a bunch of these. A lot of times these are actually broken. I can't tell until I go through them later. So I'm just going to put them over there. Ooh, we had a mystery figure. It's not in there. Ooh, this is in there. This is a, let's see, a manicure set. It looks like it's got nail clippers, filer, and a bunch of things like that. So that's cool. Um, well, that's missing the squishy part of it. We got this thing, which is cool. It doesn't have batteries in it, but what you do is you set it there and you can cut it on on or cut it on off, so that's pretty awesome, too. We, have to, we actually had one of those in our bathroom for a long time. Another squishy pallet's missing the actual squishy part. What is this? A back scratcher that has no hand. 
Woohoo, that's that's so useful now. That's gonna go over here too. Ooh, a pack of earrings. It, it's just missing the top ones up there, but all the rest of them are definitely in there, so that's awesome. Ooh, a big thing of earbuds. Stereo headphones right here, pink chandelier. They are 100% in there. I can feel the weight in there. They're still in a bubble wrap. They've never even been opened. So probably just a damaged box. It's crazy how much storage throw out over damaged boxes. It really is. Ooh, a Ninja Turtle Pez figure right there. That's pretty cool. I used to love Ninja Turtle show when I was little, the old school cartoons. I have not watched the newer ones. I know it comes on Cartoon Network now, but like I just can't get into cartoons when they destroy what they used to be when I was a kid. A bunch of gift bags here, which are, I think they're probably Christmas, yeah, they're Christmas related, so not too sure what I'm going to be able to do with those. Well, this is heavy. What is this? That is in there, but whatever it is, it's just loose. It's a racer maker, so it's a machine that actually makes erasers. That's crazy you can get that for five bucks. Like, five below amazes me. Some of the stuff they sell should not cost five bucks, in my opinion, at least. We also got, this is brand new, too. A unicorn slime, slimy gloop, so... I guess it mixes up and makes cool things. That's pretty awesome right there, too. We got a translucent wireless speaker. It's not in there, unfortunately. Maybe it'll be in the bag. Hey, another one of those hover things. Um, it doesn't look like it's probably charged, but again, they have a sensor in the bottom. You do this, and you can literally raise your hand, and they'll follow your hand and hover above it. It's pretty awesome. Holy crap. Well, we got the mother load of chargers here, don't we? You know what? <clears throat> I've, they've always worked for Fire Below. I'm not honestly going to go through all of these, but... They look like they're all, I see four iPhone at least. They're probably all iPhone chargers. So we'll put them over there. Two empty phone case boxes. Um, a Christmas book. It's actually new. I mean, I don't know what we'll do with it since Christmas just ended, but definitely keep it. Um, this charger is in there as well. As you can see, it's another iPhone charger. Go ahead and put that over there. Uh, let's see. A uh, visual charge is not in there, unfortunately. All these squishy pals, like every single one of them is gone, and whatever's at the bottom, the adhesive is still there, but everything else is just gone. It sucks. There's a phone case right there for the iPhone 8 and 7 Plus. It's still in there, a 360 degree ring case. Found those for the first time a couple five below dives ago. Um, let's see what else we got. We got more gift bags here, so I guess they're finishing out their Halloween, or not Halloween, Christmas clean out. Uh, phone case right here, it's a clear one. You might not be able to see it on camera, but it's definitely in there for the iPhone 7. Trash. Ooh, that's actually new. Um, scented hand sanitizer right there, just missing the top. Trash. Um, we find a lot of these a lot, like single gloves. A white mitten and a dark gray and white glove there, so cool. A uh, little car here. Ooh, a set of AAA batteries. That's useful for me. We need batteries a lot. Let's see what this is. Ugh. A sketch drawing pad. The pencils and the eraser and pencil sharpener in there, but the actual pad is not in there. Maybe that's what that pad we went to we found earlier goes to. I'll put it over here. I almost put it in the trash pile by accident. Oh, wow. We got a lot of gloves. Again, this is the kind of stuff that annoys me because these can be donated. These will probably go. We still have an. Um, we have a bunch of shirts that we found in the last Five Below video that were donated. So we'll take these to the same clothes bin. As I said before, this Five Below has a donation bin in its parking lot. So it's kind of annoying that they throw this stuff away. I mean, yeah, they're mismatched, but if you're out in a freaking 20 degree weather, it doesn't matter what your gloves look like. It matters if you're warm or not. All right. What is this? Oh, that's a pop ball. Oh, that's going in the trash pile. Empty box. Another phone case here with what... I don't even know what that is. It looks like a freaking mutated Furby or something. I don't know. But that's cool. Mystery phone. I would have so loved that Paw Patrol mystery figure if it was in there. Um, and, ooh, that ox cord like this. i never seen an ox cord like that. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, let's see. A tablet case right here. Definitely just a damaged box. They waste so much over damaged boxes, it's kind of ridiculous. Hey look, we actually have the mitten there, we'll add it to the pile. Another, oh, never mind, I thought it was an ox cord, it feels heavy, maybe it's at the bottom, let me check. I don't care about the boxes anyway, we, we take all the wires out of the boxes because we store them in little containers. Um, let's see, oh it is actually not in there, it felt heavy, that's weird. Oh well, no biggie, just one. Hey, a little cleaning thing, which I will use for my camera. A magnet. Party pat. Cool. 
Uh, more hand sanitizer. Uh, let's see, a double car USB charger, which is always good to have extras of. Um, they're not in there either, unfortunately. Ooh, what is this? An angle LED speaker. That is nice right there. That is 100% in there. I can feel the weight. Let me take it out just to show you guys anyway. Bam! Look at that. A nice speaker. And these speakers, I've only had one out of probably like, I don't even know, 50, 60 I found that didn't work. They always work fine. Even that one, it worked. It just it sounded like somebody dropped it and the insides were messed up. Ooh, that looks fancy. Look at this. It actually has a three-prong you plug in, then it has two USBs and then two plugs on each side. So that's pretty awesome. And something up here. Maybe you can hold a phone or something like that. Put your phone on the charger and set it in there and it can just sit on the wall. That's pretty cool. Um, it looks like the rubber ends of earbuds somewhere. Another pack of earbuds here. Are these in here? Let's see. They're not in there either. Wow. Usually, I mean, we found a lot at the beginning, so those could have been to those boxes. Oh, come here. Come here. We got a pink elephant? No, if anyone knows what that's supposed to do, that's just... I don't know. I find it strange just to find a random rubber pink elephant. I feel like there's more to that. Another one of these lip gloss things. Let's see if it's new. It's brand new. Isn't that just so satisfying looking? I mean, it really is. It's just so perfect. It's oddly satisfying. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Uh, we got another phone case here. Not sure what phone it goes to. Another mitten here. So we have like four or five of those mittens. So we should have at least two good pairs to donate. Um, we got trash. Another glove to add to the donation pile. And yeah, the rest of it is trash. So we're going to go ahead and get all this stuff organized and be right back for a quick recap. Welcome back guys. So as you can see, we got everything organized and we got an absolutely amazing haul. Tons of stuff for there to be only one bag from five below. I do want to point out one thing. We went through all the CDs. They all had the CD in there except for the Drake one, which had this in it. Not too sure what's going to be on that, but a little awkward. Not going to lie. Kind of strange to find that inside the Drake CD, but all the rest of them are in there so we got a ton of cds probably over a hundred dollars worth of cds not even including all the amazing things we found in five below so anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up and if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome dumpster diving videos every single day and make sure you also hit the notification bell so you can be the first one notified when we upload new videos but anyway thank you guys so much and until next time peace out